the old man's out there on the kayak now, holding out there for about oh, an hour. I picked up some stonker. Squids. So, look at that big boy. There's about three in there. Rod's actually got one off, um, off the shore as well, which they reckon you can't really do here, but we proved them wrong. So, the old man's out there now doing his part, hopefully. But um, yeah, good morning. I'm gonna go back out. I'm gonna take you with me on a test mount, and um, hopefully we'll catch something that I can put on. But um, if not, well, I'll show you this a bit later on when we pull them back out of the fridge. But beer's going down well. Family's having a good time, and that's all that matters. So. A couple more squid would be good though before we head out to Steep Point tomorrow. I hope we catch some big fish. So. Keen as. Jesus. Alright, oh, no. so I've got a little honey hole just up here. This is where I caught my last three. You can see it. This is a little patch out here. You can see all the family over there. Having a fish. We've got the beers going. Let's hope we can get one on camera for you. That'd be good. That'd be pretty good. Gonna be one of those guys. First cast. Let's see if we can't get snagged straight away. Pull it out, pull it out, pull it out. Across the top. Bit of weed on the back of it now, so I don't think we'll get much, but trying to fight the kayak at the same time. rid of this. This isn't quite my honey hole. I'd have uh, put us in the wrong spot here. But even though they have, oh, they have been around here all bloody afternoon. Oh, can't get any stronger. They'll quite they want to stay where she normally does. Well, that's to me, the young bike. The uh, second squid adventure wasn't too good. I didn't get nothing. But, uh. Yeah, yeah, right, you know, boys. Gonna go get some oysters. Apparently, there's oysters down here on the rocks. So, if there is, we want a dozen, don't we? Yeah, oyster kill Patrick's. Yeah. Yeah, boy. With some squid. Dad's cooking a roast tonight, so we might just have a massive seafood night tomorrow night. So we'll see how we go. Wish us luck. Tell us, Mom. Tell us, Mom. She's hiding. But anyway, roast pork tonight. Bye. Got some uh, beads cranking for the slow cooker. And uh, just. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Oh, hi, Sailor. They're just drying off the meat now and uh, going to salt it up. Probably it's 3 o'clock now, so I'll chuck it on for three hours or so. And see how she goes. Throw some veg in at the bottom. We'll have another fire pit going, but we're not allowed them, so it is what it is. But good arvo so far. The roast is nearly done. Just trying to keep it on one side to get the crackle. And the sunset's about to come. So... Drink some beers and uh, we'll sit back, watch that, and have some dinner.
pretty early. Oh, not really, 6.30. Got up at 6.30. And I uh, thought I'd just have a look around, walk down the water, and there was a big school of, uh, I believe they're Taylor. I'm not really a fisherman. But a uh, big school of Taylor floating around down there, so quickly threw in the rod. Pin this buddy. And then went out and uh, went out from the kayaks quickly. Got a couple more of these babies. So pretty stoked with that. Um, good, good morning on the water. Off to Steep Point today. Hopefully we catch some more. Um, just going to do a bit more packing up. Did a fair bit last night, but fillet this fish, put it all in the fridge, and off we go. Right, I all packed up, and going to head back into Denham. Put some water in. Um, that's about it. Stock up on a few things, and then we'll. Head for our long journey out to Steep Point. Apparently the road's pretty bad. Got old mate next to us. He's uh, just done it. So see how long it takes us. Also on the exit of Big Lagoon, they have bins and they have air up stations. How good is this in the middle of the bush? Beautiful. Well, I'm not going to lie, that made life easy. Didn't it, babe? Yeah. Tire pump up joint on the way out and um we'll put it this way steph used it on two tires to my one tire but i was using the compressor out of the car so Hi. worked out pretty good oh, hi sailor how are you hi hi joy hi. but yeah into denim now i'm gonna fill up again even though i haven't used bugger all but chuck some more in there just to be safe and fill up some water and yeah Head off. So he's moisturised, give me a couple of days. I was like, yeah, you can be brown again. Right, oh, so typical crap, blue alternator. Hey. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> we've we've crapped out an alternator. Luckily enough, in denim, I assume it happened in denim. We just went to fill up water, turned the car off, started up again, and it wouldn't start. Lucky enough, we're on a uh, hill and we bumped her. Rolled into Repco in Denham. He wanted 600 and something dollars for one. Um, and he didn't even have one in stock. So I ended up going around the corner to bloody, what's his name? RAC. No, nah, it wasn't no, it was Bob's Tires or something. Paul's Tires. Oh, I'm not sure. RAC right. sign out the front there. Absolute legend. He, um, had one on the shelf ready to go, 380 bucks, which is pretty much not far off Perth prices, so I was pretty happy with that. Um, I still haven't changed it. It's now lunchtime and we wanted to sort of be halfway to Steep Point by now, but that's not gonna happen. So we're gonna bash out as far as we can. If it keeps running and going, which it should, it's only a 1.8 jet, there's not too much electrical on these things, then we should be good. I'll drive all that Steep Point, set up camp for this as kids they can all start having fun and enjoying themselves and uh i'll get under the hood of this thing and swap out the alternator so but not too bad we're still on our way we're just about uh, we're not that far two hours behind i'm gonna say we're always gonna leave denim at like 10 ish because that's what time the bottle i opened <laughs> I was say, we, had to, <laughs> we had to wait for beers <laughs> had to wait for beers so it, we're two hours behind which ain't bad really so Bash out there now, it's only 220 k's, but it says it's about four hours, so you can imagine how good the road's gonna be. We have been warned. We have been warned from old mate who was camping next to us last night. He came back from there a couple of days ago. Yeah. And he reckons, it, he's from the Northern Territory, and he reckons it's probably the worst road they've been on so far, so. It's 
should be fun. And they were running in a normal, pretty new car, not a 105 towing a camp trailer. No, he was in a Navara. New Navara, yeah, yeah. So we'll uh, we'll get out there, enjoy a couple of beers, and even if I don't get stuck in with this thing this afternoon, I'll do it tomorrow or something. But I'd rather do it in the Savi, so I still got all day tomorrow to fish. So I've got to. We'll get there. Yeah. Yeah. So when we get there, we'll see you there. gonna take us nearly two hours. So I assume it's gonna be pretty rough going. Hi. Hi Sailor. What are you doing? I just clicked out by myself. Just clicked out by yourself. Are you, can you click back in by yourself? Because we're gonna go in a minute. No, I'm going to go down road. Oh you're swapping out cars are you? Yeah. But yeah, so it's going to be pretty rough going, I'm going to say, and it should be interesting. Kids are arguing over whose car they're going in, as long as they're not in mine screaming, I'll be happy. But, so, here's a little bridge crossover. I reckon this is where it gets pretty rough. But since we've been doing 80 to 100 k's an hour up to this point, so not too bad going. But, uh, yeah. See how we go.
Oh, I was getting stuck there for a sec. I didn't think I was going to make it. Thought I was going to reverse down, but all good. Bit of remnants of someone's trailer there. Let's have a quick look, shall we? But uh, this is why you got to bring something capable out here. Otherwise, it'll end up like that one. He's uh. Seen its last day, I think. Bit of a shame that they left it out in. I understand that you can't always get something out in. It was pretty remote, but um, I don't know. The actual drawbar itself stripped off it, so I don't really know what you meant to do there. Maybe you hook up some chains to it and skull drag it out of here, but then again, it wrecks the track or might even grade the track. It might be better. But, yeah, we're getting there. 20 k's left, they reckon one hour. We are knocking time off it though, we are knocking time off it. What have we done, babe? Oh, done a mischief. We I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what we've done. Smashed our water tank. There's not even a dent in it though, I don't know what's happened there. Oh. There's no. There's no dents in it, there's no Hi. dent in the bash plate, nothing. It's just, it's actually leaking. Oh, up there's in no the, in here. Leaking in between the tank and the bash plate, but I don't know, there's no dents in it, so the tank itself must have split or a weld let go, or I don't know. But it's leaking from the bottom, so it means they're losing it all. Not some of it, all of it. All of it. Lucky the old man's got decent tank on his so we'll just filter off him I think otherwise we'd probably be in a bit of strife we've only got 20 litres in the car which we probably used five or so litres of that so we don't have much Although, but, uh, comes down. yeah we'll uh, see how we go it is what it is nothing to do about it now
so I reckon they probably can secure us another night. So we're on. <laughs> and oh mate, there's got a fish on already. Deep point, Shelters Bay, we are here. And the water couldn't be any better, so stoked about that. Just finished setting up camp. Dad, about to enjoy a beer. Out, it's stopped, Dad. Should be all go tomorrow. <laughs> Put the boat in, we'll shoot out there, see if we can't get some dewies. Maybe use her for bait if she keeps whinging. And we'll see how we go. I tell you right now, you wouldn't want to be out there in a boat. I'm pretty happy that we're on Shelter Bay. Have a look at this.